everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. We got episode number 40 of the No Money Spent Squad series. Today, we're going to be doing a bunch of different things. We got free packs to open. We're going to talk about our plans for earning all of the free content in Zero Chill to upgrade our team, and we might be making some upgrades to the squad because the market is certainly down right now due to the Zero Chill promo, and there's some really good buys out there, some players that I think can improve our squad, and we won't have to spend a ton of coin doing so. We're going to start with some pack openings. I got a ton of unopened packs in here. The Donald Penn Twitch Drop token event is going on right now. We earned the second of eight needed tokens today by watching uh, one of the streams that was available today from one great user. Henry and Clef are later up today. Here's the full schedule down below in the comment section as a pinned comment. I'm going to link you to a video I put over on my main channel on how to get this Donald Penn card, how to upgrade it to a 91, how to customize it. The entire program explained in that video, so make sure you go check it out because it's definitely a card we're going to be adding to the No Money Spent Squad. Yesterday, we also got uh, EA Play Rewards and Mutt Rewards. So we got some free packs from there. We're getting these random Mutt Miss Calendar packs just for simply logging in. So we have those to look forward to. Twitch drop packs. But I want to start with the double legend pack here. This is the level 27 reward from the competitive pass. Now remember, we used to get a full free legend from this, which is definitely the better option. I'm still really mad at EA for removing that one. I really hope on the next competitive pass they bring it back at least give us a free bnd legend at level 27 and i think the other one's level 53 when you max it all out two legend packs just simply not anything to get excited about but it is legend saturday we got a, a gary anderson ltd in packs right now we got ed two tall jones and andre reed in there as well as full 93 overall legend so let's go ahead and start with the video with opening up these packs i open them up over on my main account and i didn't really get anything good i'm just gonna breeze through this by the way we're not gonna get excited about any animation here and okay okay i'm not too mad there got a 90 i opened these on my main account i think last weekend and pretty much got the bare minimum uh we already have john randall on this team but this is certainly a w there i mean not that 90s go for a ton of coins these days but from a free pack i'm gonna take a 90 and 86 and an 83 and we got all elites within this pack so first one not too bad but i want to get extremely lucky here i want that gary anderson ltd in this pack right now he's selling for like 500 000 coins that would be a, a great stimulus pack to the no money spent squad and here we go looks like we got mostly the bare minimum here 383s we got an 82 team of the week and then a cowboy gold card which i'm just gonna quick sell this right now we don't need this in our binder <laughs> I'm going to save a lot of the presents and zero chill packs for a future video, but let's do the EA Play packs and the Pro Game Day pack that we got from Mutt Rewards and see if we can get anything good here. So it looks like a Harvest card, 89 maybe? Okay. I'm not mad at that one at all here. Some pretty solid elite items. We'll have to price check some of these. I think a lot of things have come down after team diamonds came out so a lot of you know like random core elites and things that had a lot of high value probably don't have as much anymore we missed the boat on, on that one um but you know elites are always going to help on this account whether it's down the road if we're going to quick sell them or if we're going to use them for future sets or just generally sell them and make some coin these ea play packs i don't know i got this question a couple different times i don't know why all of a sudden we're getting four packs instead of just one that's how it's always been i'm not complaining about it but i had a few people ask like why did you get four ea play packs i think that's just how it is now because this is the second month in a row on both this account and my main account where i got four packs instead of one and also them being fantasy packs has been been a pretty good w like these actually have been surprisingly good we get an 85 in the first round 82 80 another 80 so that one wasn't too good halfway through them let's see what pack number three gives us looks like we got one elite in round number one that's okay because that just means round number two is gonna be a banger okay we got an 85 an 80 and another 80 kicker might have a little bit of value there again i'll have to price check it and see uh final pack and then we're gonna save the rest of these for a future video as i said here it is ea play december pack four of four this is the one right here we start with a 79 overall team of the week card we got 182 in there okay 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 
All right, 86, 81, you know, could have been better there, but I ain't going to complain. Uh, and there you have it. So one thing, if you pay attention to all of these No Money Spent series videos, one thing you might notice is missing is the strategy packs that we had. The other day before Zero Chill came out, uh, that promo got delayed. I was on stream. We had some time to kill. So I opened up all of my strategy packs, and I got one pretty good one for the team. Once the promo's live, you tune in. Just happened. That was weird. Hey, I don't know what just happened there, but I'll take it. Not only that, we were able to make a good amount of coin off of them. So basically I took all of these silvers that I got and rolled those up to greens. And then I took all of the greens and rolled those up to blues. You go to item sets, sort by core set. You can put those into sets to basically upgrade them. And I haven't sold all of the blue strategy items that I own, but you can see I sold a handful of them. I got that man-to-man -man one twice. So we got to use one for the team. And then also we pulled another one that we sold for 72 and a half thousand coins. The one that gives you plus three to zone sold for like 50K. Sold a couple others. So I still have a few of these in my possession that we're going to save for whenever we get purple strategy items we can put two blues into a set to get one purple but we were able to turn some of this into coin we're now sitting at 1.5 mil and that was after we made an upgrade at quarterback oh 273 w ah oh, you asshole guess we gotta pay 283 for it All right, new QB number one on No Money Spent. Still got 1.2 mil to work with. Now, I just sold a couple more cards and items off of the team here, and we're going to make some upgrades at those same positions, specifically with Marvin Harrison and Mean Joe Green. I've been talking about wanting to make upgrades at the wide receiver position, and I'm actually going to pick up a card. Let's jump on over to the auction house that literally came out today in Andre Reed, a new legend card. The market, and over on my main channel, uh, very soon, by the time some of you are watching this, the video might already be out, but the market is way down right now. Like, there's a lot of high-end items. Even take a look at how much I paid for Otto Graham a couple days ago. I just showed you the clip for that, and he's already well below 200K in most scenarios. This isn't even filtered down here, so there's a lot of really good cards. Of course, there's the really high-end items like Richard Sherman and Gronk and Deron Bland, just to name a few, but generally speaking... Even the Zero Chill Champions that came out two days ago, TJ Watt, Jalen Hurts, are 300,000 coins. Like, prices are really, really low on a lot of cards. So if you were looking to make upgrades, Harvest Champions, really, really inexpensive. Today is certainly a great day to do that. But we're going to go ahead and pick up this Andre Reid. We already now have, and he's going up a little bit in price. So let me hurry up and buy him now because he was about 350K not too long ago. Um, I now have on the team, we still got the free Randy Moss, who I think is 92 two speed and we also have two 93 speed receivers on the team now there's only the Tyree kill out there with 95 uh, aside from that the fastest receivers in the game are sitting there at 93 speed and we got two of them Andre Reed six foot two so he's going to be helpful the other card is going to be a very slight upgrade but I think a better card just for my style of defense and it's a little bit of an older card. It's going to be all Madden, uh, R William Refrigerator Perry, defensive tackle. So we got rid of Mean Joe Green, who has really good attributes. Not a terrible card at all, but Refrigerator Perry for 181,000 coins is a really good price. According to Mutt.gg, I think he's on average about 171k. But when you take a look at this card, he's going to get inside stuff. He's also 335 pounds, so he's just a bigger dude than Mean Joe Green. He's going to take up more space and be more helpful in the run game. So we're going to go ahead and pick him up we got two new additions to the squad aside from auto Graham, and we're still at 1.2 mil remember when we bought that auto Graham, we went down to 1.2 but now that we sold a couple cards and we also sold those strategy items that we had sitting there for free and i think another card sold in the middle of all of this maybe not i know coins popped up at some point here you know they don't like to show all of your completed auctions out there but now we got some better players on the squad and still a very good coin amount to work with i got 290 sitting in my binder and we might go out and get three more of them so we can pre-build a 93 from part two of the zero chill we don't know who those players are going to be but we can essentially get one of the brand new 93 overall zero chill cards on thursday as soon as it comes out depending on the position so uh, here is one look at the team. We're probably going to put Slot Apprentice on Andre Reed, Otto Graham. We got Gunslinger and Set Feet Lead on him for a total of five AP. So that would get me to seven in totality. 
I told you guys a couple episodes ago, left guard will be upgraded with the free Bruce Matthews once I get there, though I think we're pretty far away. I think I got to get to level 45, so that's going to take a little bit. And on defense, we added in the refrigerator Perry there. He's going to get inside stuff. I'm fine with my cornerbacks. Like, Champ has made a ton of plays lately. Joey Porter Jr. has been really good. We did get to level 35, and I do have Darren Woodson out there. A uh, bit of an upgrade over that Jordan Howden card that we got free from the Blitz promo. So we're going to give him a try. And one other move I'm thinking about making is selling Rashawn Gary, which we got really cheap at the time, and maybe buying TJ Watt to replace him. Pretty similar cards. I think Watt is a little bit better, but they're both similar in price. They're both about 300 k so we would have to eat the tax on that one. But other than that, I think we'd be getting a slight upgrade. So um, there you have it. We did a lot in today's video. We got a lot more free packs to open. And at this point, it's time to go and grind out that zero chill field pass tons of free rewards within there snowflakes things of that nature and we're just going to start building up that currency waiting for the head-to-head -head event that's likely coming at part two as well to get as many snowflakes as possible so we can get as many presents as possible and hopefully turn those into coins and better players for the team on christmas thank you for watching this episode my name is popular stranger i'm out